Oh, helmet Tessa? Oh, Appa the Hessa helmet. Appa go. Oh, Appa go. Magic. Pinji Tessa. Hi, Here's the Yanagi E350. It's just a single motor electric uh, scooter. It's my first ever. So, to start, I had to put four screws here. It comes with the um, hex nuts and a tool. Mm -hmm. The charging port's right there. I think I charged it for about an hour and it's full now. So, let's see. Let's put on, turn on this little display here. Okay. I think P is pedestrian. These are the different, oh, this is your siren, your honk. Ooh, and then this is your modes. Oh, I think it's a mode. Hmm, okay. And that's mode one, I think. Oops. We'll figure it out. Okay, mode two, and I think the mode three is the fastest one. I think this is the throttle, and here's the brake. Yeah. It's a cool, really bright uh, red LED light. You can't really see in this video. There's a bright LED light here. I'm not sure how to turn it on yet. These um, wheels are rubber, and they're they're airless. Um, they have these grooves to absorb shock. You don't have to ever worry about um, them getting punctured or anything like that. Looks like there's reflective things right there. And I think the sun's coming out too to check this thing out. I have one more of these for my wife. Um, we'll see how it goes. Ooh. In order to fold this thing, you just have to pull this, push this down, and then it folds just like that. There's a little marker here, a sticker, that tells you that's how you carry it. There's the LED light that's pretty dark. I'll have to test it out in the um, in the dark. But in order to um, press this again, it's easier if you kind of lift this a tiny bit and then press it down, because there's a bit of tension there. Overall, um, I, I wasn't expecting anything. Obviously, I've ridden a, a manual scooter before, but there's definitely a bit of a thrill, kind of like riding a Tesla for the first time, where it just kind of pins you back in your seat and just goes. Um, it kind of feels like that, obviously not as fast, but um, I can totally see how some more powerful e-bikes and scooters can be really, really fun. Really nice, comfortable handles, um, rubbery texture here, a really nice rubbery footbed as well. All right, so I finally figured out how to change the speed. So basically turn it on and the mode button, you have to double click. So double click, double click, double click. And three, the max speed I believe is 15 miles an hour. Pedestrian mode is like three miles an hour. Um, and everything else is in between. I'm gonna go right over to the mailbox. Right, so I'm at my mailbox, and I went on some inclines, and um, it couldn't go 15 miles an hour on like a 25% up to 30% incline. I mean, 30% is pretty steep, so um, maybe 15, like 25%, 20% incline. Um, it does slow down, but it's not too bad. Um, not enough to take away the fun. Um, obviously for a really long stretch of uphill, uh, it wouldn't be as ideal, but I think you can um, push it with your foot as well. So, pretty impressed so far. Alright, let's try turning on that light. So I just came from that hill. It's pretty steep. I would say at least 25%. Um, 
I mean, probably not as high as 30. Oh, look at that throw of light. It's pretty nice. Definitely see where you're going. So that's about uh, almost 30% incline over there. Um, I would say close to 30. It did pretty well. Um, and I'm gonna go down a hill. And I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed with this thing. Um, after reading a review, I thought it was going to be a lot more noisy, and I thought they were maybe like really hard, plasticky type wheels, but they're definitely rubber. Um, they're airless, and um, I read that you can feel every little bump in the road, but I don't think that's the case. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Awesome. Um, I think this is actually going to be really nice. It's, it's so nice to just uh, ride in this cool night breeze. So after, after I work out and I'm all sweaty, I'll probably just take a nice little joy ride, maybe check the mail, go around the neighborhood a couple times, and then um, go back and take a shower. There we go. So I went down at least a 30% uh, decline. So that was a really nice nice ride. Um, and I pretty much didn't even use the throttle, and I was going really fast. Um, I felt myself go over a little rock, and it just kicked it out. It, wasn't probably, it probably wasn't very big, but um, these wheels are pretty, pretty big, so I think I don't really have to worry as long as I'm not uh, going over something huge. So, yes, sir. Um, I'm testing it out. I'll try putting on a GoPro next time. And I'm going to have my son just at low speeds right in front of me and hold on to the handlebars. So I just folded it because I'm going to store it in the garage and I don't want uh, my kids to knock it over or injure themselves. But uh, super easy to do that and easy to carry, about 25 pounds. I might even take this to on a trip. There's about a $140 um, carrying case that's really nice, really high quality with YKK zippers and uh, made to fit this entire thing, including the handlebars. I'm actually not sure if I'm going to open my second one. Uh, we'll see. Uh, my wife seems to not want to ride a scooter. She heard about someone's dad breaking his leg, so I think she might um, be better off with uh, a bike anyway. Um, one that can carry our kids in the back. So, um, this is the box it came in. It has a separate box for the handlebars. There's a little tool for the four screws, the hex screws. It comes with two extra ones. Really, really simple to do. Nicely packaged. And these were purchased from Best Buy uh, on sale for $5.89. Regularly, I think $7.89. Right now, they're on sale for $6.89, but I've heard that they've gone as low as $4.89. That would be a steal. I'll get that in a heartbeat. Let's take a look at that box. Nice looking box. It's the Model 1. There's a more expensive dual motor version. I think that's a little bit overkill for me for this. I would much rather put the money onto an e-bike, I think. But this is, I'm super satisfied with this. Most likely I will not open this since my wife is just absolutely even refusing to try this one out. This would be perfect to go on a trip with, camping with, runs to the bathroom, just a joy ride around the campgrounds. It's probably best to not get sand in the wheels, the bearings, or whatever it is. If you did not know, unagi means eel in Japanese, at a sushi restaurant at least. This is the E350, the one that goes 15 miles an hour, 15 miles max range, one click fold, 700 watts of peak power, it's like 26 pounds, and I think it can carry, I think if I'm not mistaken, about 230 pounds of uh, payload. It has an, an aluminum magnesium alloy body, and I've heard that there's carbon fiber in this shaft. Another thing, there is a manual brake here as well, just like normal scooters. I can tell that it's, it helps to um, increase confidence in your braking. Um, sometimes just have your foot there if you think you're gonna need to brake fast. Of course, you can slam on that, but the, I've been really impressed with the brakes. I think these are dual brakes, some sort of like disc brakes. Yeah, scooter. Huh? Papa? Huh? Papa? 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 
So I finally did figure out how to consistently change the speed. You just press this function button, uh, double click it. There's three, it's max speed. This is the pedestrian mode, which is really slow. One, two, it's probably around um, 10 miles an hour. And this is around about um, 15 miles an hour. Cool. And of course this one is your light. This is your brake. And you can kind of feather the brake too. You can kind of tap, tap, tap. You can also tap the throttle too. Okay, scooter is up. Mareba. Scooter. Scooter. Ah, maja. Okay. So it fits well in the car. Oops, it gotten stuck on the little net here. Okay, great. And let's do the kickstand. So I have a GoPro uh, connected to this shaft here, and I'm gonna try putting my little one and a half year old up here. All right, let's see if I can use the gimbal while I ride it. Let's try this out really quick. So I have on Kaboja. Okay, turned it on. So I'm just P mode. I need to go on a little bit faster. Ah, uh, hebuja, hebuja. I need a bit of a break to cool off, so I'm gonna go check the mail on this scooter. Let's go. Press the button here. Turn this thing on. Put it in speed mode. Oops. Three, four, the highest speed. Here we go. Oh, I feel cooler already. This is a pretty steep grade.